Okay, so this video now we're going to be talking about electrophilic aromatic substitution. So we know benzene is very, very stable. Okay, so benzene is six carbons, six hydrogens, and each carbon has a hydrogen. So we can generalize the structure with a circle in the middle, indicating that there's a sea of delocalized electrons above and below the plane of that ring. Okay, so they're very, very stable. They don't do addition reactions because it breaks the delocalized electrons within the ring system. What they do do is what we've got up here, so electrophilic aromatic substitution. So they're happy to swap a hydrogen for an electrophile, okay, but they will not add an electrophile on and get rid of that delocalized system. So let's say that we have our electrophile, which we're going to have as E and it's attached to a nucleophile, okay? So we've got our electrophile and our nucleophile. So the delocalized electrons, that's where all the, the electrons are coming from, will go on to the electrophile and make a bond, and then the, the bonding electrons will go on to the nucleophile and give it a negative charge. So this step here is really slow, okay? It's not um, a fast reaction, the molecule does not want to break those delocalized electrons. So once we've added on our E group, so it doesn't matter which carbon you draw it to, okay, so when we've added that on, we will have a positive charge on the other carbon that's directly next to it, okay. So this positive charge, we also have a hydrogen on there. We have a hydrogen on there. Um, I'll draw the hydrogens on the other end of the ring for you. Okay, so we're, we've got this structure that's been produced and we also have our nucleophile which now has a negative charge on it. So what happens then is very quickly that nucleophile will come and remove one of the protons so then it can make the delocalized system again. So it will remove the proton that the electrophile uh, the carbon the electrophile went on, so that way it goes back into this delocalized ring system. So this is a very fast reaction. Okay, so this one's very fast. You can't detect this carbocation intermediate. It, it disappears very, very quickly. And then you go back to your delocalized ring system and you just have your electrophile there and your nucleophile would then have the hydrogen attached to it. Okay, so I haven't drawn in the hydrogens on the starting and the final product because they're assumed, remember, with our line diagrams. So we've got our electrophilic aromatic substitution, or EAS for short. So you have the delocalized electrons attacking the electrophile, forming a negative nucleophile by that bond cleavage. And then the nucleophile removes the proton that's attached to the carbon with the electrophile. And we have a very fast reaction where we have that delocalization of those electrons going back um, like it was in the benzene ring. Okay, so that's how you do electrophilic aromatic substitution if you substitute one group. And um, there is another set of rules for two groups, which we won't be covering in this subject.